Hi, brothers and sisters. I'm here with your Bible reading for today. We will still be reading in the New International Version. We're going to begin where we left off yesterday with Mark chapter 3, verse 7 through verse 30. We're going to start off by talking about the crowds following Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the lake, and the large crowd from Galilee followed. When they heard about all he was doing, many people came to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Idme, and the regions across the Jordan and around Tyre and Sidon. Because of the crowd, he told his disciples to have a small boat ready for him to keep the people from crowding him. So he had healed many, so that those with diseases were pushing forward to touch him. Whenever the impure spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. But he gave them strict orders not to tell others about him. Now Jesus appoints the twelve. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. These are the twelve he appointed, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. To them he gave the name Bonerges, which means son of thunder. Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus accused by his family and by teachers of the law. Then Jesus entered a house, and again a crowd gathered, so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. When his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him, for they said, He is out of his mind. And the teachers of the law who came down from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul. By the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. So Jesus called them over to him and began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, the house cannot stand. And if Satan opposes himself, and is divided, he cannot stand. His end has come. In fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first try tying him up. Then he can plunder the strong man's house. Truly, I tell you, people can be forgiven all their sins and every slander they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. They are guilty of an eternal sin. He said this because they were saying, He has an impure spirit. And that's where we'll stop today with Mark. And we're going to read our psalm for today, which is Psalm 37, verses 1 through 11. Psalm of David. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like grass, green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, 
and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteous path, righteous reward, shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil, for those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more, though you look for them they will not be found, but the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. And lastly, for today, we're going to read Proverbs, chapter 10, verses 3 and verse 4. My eyes are really blurry today for some reason. My voice is getting so rough. It, maybe I'm coming down with something. Sorry for my horrible sounding voice Proverbs chapter 10 verses 3 and 4 the Lord does not let the righteous go hungry but he throts the craving of the wicked lazy hands make for poverty but diligent hands bring wealth And that was Proverbs chapter 10, verses 3 and verse 4. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.